You heard a lot of what they what today call klezmer music, klezmer bands. We don't recognize, we use the word, we do not recognize klezmer music. It's, it's a misnomer. Klezmer is a guy who plays an instrument. Music, when we used to play jobs in the city, and we, by the way, we never knew this to be a concert form of music, and then, well, nobody else did. Nobody did. It was called Jewish music. On Saturday night in June, there were 12 million weddings from wherever you looked, it was a wedding. And they say, hey, you know, there's a guy who plays uh, an instrument. And the question that followed was always the same. Does he play Jewish? Didn't even say the word music. One word, Jewish. Klezmer was not in our lexicon. It didn't, it wasn't a word. The klezmer was the player, whether he was a backyard player or he was a symphony player. Klezmer comes from, from a Hebrew word, and it's not considered what we call Jewish music. As this is a very important thing you've said, and we can hear different opinions in a moment, but uh, that's the, the fact of the matter is that that's exactly, historically, I can tell you as a historian, you, it's exactly the words that I use. There's no such thing. It's, it's a misnomer. Klezmer means a musician. It doesn't specify what kind of musician. And uh, in the Middle Ages, the word was used. And obviously, it didn't mean the kind of music that you heard or that we heard. Totally different. The Yiddish music for a musician which means musician is koleh zema. That's two, two Hebrew words, contraction of two Hebrew words. The greatest musicians that, that, that played, whether they played in the opera or in the symphony, they didn't have to come to the United States. They made a living there. The poor musician, the one who couldn't make a living there and the one who couldn't play as well, he came to this country, he said, America is the golden in Medina. It's a golden land. So they came here. Now, those people that were already here who knew about the type of music being played, and they listened to these guys play, they said, my good, they're awful. They're terrible. This is, this is what the, the klezmer play? So, Klezma became a derogatory expression. This is very true. A few true. years back, I, I, well, I'll say I'll go, I'll go 20 years back. If you were called me a Klezma, you were a candidate for a punch in the nose. It's an insult. It, 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 I grew it's up that exactly way. exactly what it was. My pet, when, when somebody called me, a, a, a friend of my parents would say to me, uh, oh, your son's a klezmer. It didn't mean anything by it. Many he's a musician. Yeah, they, they, made, my, they didn't make a living. My, my parents took offense at it, but yeah, just for the reason I you... I sure. to it. It's all they did. And not only me, all the good musicians here, you call them a klezmer, it was murder. You were, like I said, a, a candidate for a punch in the nose. We, we, we play this music, we don't think twice about it. It's music that we played all our lives. Why should all of a sudden this type of music be accepted not only in our immediate area, but into Europe, where it originally started and came to, to this country, went back to Europe again, and now Julie gets email, Japan, Australia, uh, New Zealand. New Zealand. We're going to Holland now. We're going now. We're going to Holland. We're going to Be Antwerp, Belgium. We're going to. Uh, Repeat Canada. Uh, different cities. We're going to Canada Toronto, again. Uh, 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 so on and so forth. They keep asking for us to come, and we're only playing stuff that we played all our lives.